Hello and welcome back to another episode of This vs. That. My name is Beyonce and let's get right into it by starting off strong. So here is the list of all the weight frames, although there are nine of them. Realistically, there are only seven since two of these are adept versions. One is a sunset and these four are the only ones that we will focus on now. Unfortunately, we don't have a strand weight frame, at least yet as of season of the wish, but we do have arc, solar void and stasis. So let's begin by saying that all of these damage perks on screen, forget about them because you're not really using a weight frame for boss DPS, but rather act clear. So the perks we want to focus on are oriented more towards chain reaction, reload speed related traits. You want a good combination of perks that can kill everything and be ready to shoot again. Not much more to it than that. So here are my roles for each weapon, starting with explosive personality. You can see that I am running feeding frenzy and golden tricorn. Basically I can reload very fast each time I shoot. Now, the one thing you will notice for all these weight frames is that they all have the same amount of distance and basically they shoot at the exact same time time and they do the same amount of damage anything from 45 to 35 to 40,000 in that range 35 to 45 now i choose not to include surges tractor well since a lot of these things for wave frames in particular are usually used in a more run and gun style of combat you're not really going to be camping in a you know in a rift unless maybe you're doing like oryx and you have ads constantly chasing you that's different but for the majority you're not really using these weapons for damage for bosses so you know so i just want to point that out you don't really need damage perks because everything you shoot is probably already going to be dead and next up is a mix of forbearance and new pacific arc and stasis so my hunters can use mask of bakaris here and we follow the same form the range and the damage is the same but the similarities are many because why use and compare them well this season is not only the longest but it is also the one with a grenade launcher kills grant armor charge type of season okay meaning you can basically use waveframes as a tool this season get armor charges just stacked up and then when you use a linear a sword a rocket launcher you name it right a machine gun you do more damage because you already have those armor charges right there and fast forwarding a little bit more we have harsh language which it has the following perks again i'm breaking every shield in the process and i'm getting rewarded majorly for it the amount of orbs we can generate are absurd considering these weapons are perfect for multi kills and you need double kills for orbs to spawn anyway now another positive is the variety of subclasses these offer to use with the exception of strand like i said however but now to answer the question and the reason why you clicked on this video which is the best wave frame well it's forbearance next up probably explosive personality because they are craftable harsh language and pacific are really good they have very useful perks but them not being craftable extends to grinding for the role you want despite these weapons being decently strong as it is so if you wish to see more of these videos consider subscribing you are literally feeding my dog hades and this is him so anyway i will catch you later with a different video and peace out everyone have a good one